and that that's album it. is available worldwide. Uh, worldwide, uh, everywhere. You can and you're going to al- autograph the album that you're going to give me, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <yeah. laughs> In okay. blood. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so you performed all over the country? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been in a bunch of different groups. And um, actually, I don't perform what the type of music that we just did here. But um, I do play in a band called True Colors. And okay. We're going to be uh, headlining at uh, various clubs around um, around Marin County and San Francisco and the East Bay. Hmm. And uh, is it true that you play? Music. Cool. Is it true that you play other musical instruments besides the guitar and your voice? <laughs> that was very good, Jim. Uh, yeah, actually, I play a mandolin and um, a harmonica and bass and drums. And I have a studio. I, uh, you have a si- sixteen-track studio out in Southern Marin, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. exactly right. Oh, okay. Uh, where that's I did the album. So. Okay, very good. Yeah. Well, do you want to? Uh, Take a break now and go and see Jennifer Bissett from our audience. You want to see her perform? Yeah. Uh, let me see if the audience wants to hear her perform. You guys, let me let me get some reaction. Yeah, yeah, Woo! yeah. Let's go. Let's roll the tape. Man. Okay, and trust me, she doesn't do drugs. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Murray Oric, I'm going to ask you a question. You have a 16-track studio, which is really happening, and what kind of projects do you characters working on now? Well, uh, I do a lot of uh, songwriters and bands, and... um, also but, yeah, but what about the projects you're working on? Surprising. Uh, been doing some uh, vo- <laughs> voiceover uh, work and sound effects. 
for uh, actually a company called Jumpin' Jack Software. Mm. And they're, they're That's interesting, the way that works. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, Murray, yeah, that's so great. That's exciting. Now, things. ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take you back about five years to when this all started and when this was called the Jim Meyer Show. I was a little bit younger, and I was on another show being interviewed by a woman who did an incredibly thought-provoking, intellectual, very stimulating show. But, Murray, do you remember that show at all? No, I do not, Jim. <laughs> okay. If you were to remember, what do you think your memories would be similar to? Uh, there was uh, there were lots of lights, uh, there yeah. were naked bodies. I right. There was uh, crazy there was, like, incense. Fruit. There was something with yeah. food. Yeah. Uh, right. I remember lots a lot of, of oil. oil around. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. That was was that the show? You got it, babe. I don't know where you were, but you were there. <laughs> see how we did? How we connected? Their interpersonal relationships are working very well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see the tape right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I love it. Love you too. Okay, let's go. My name is. <laughs> and this is. Dawn of a New Bitch. If you watch my show with any regularity, you will know that I am the follower of the great leader, Mushy. Mushy once told me women are superior. Women will rule the world. Then he asked me to bark like a dog as he untied me from the bed. On tonight's show, we have a young producer who creates a TV show that I despise. His name is Jim Meyer. Jim? Thank you, Don. It's great to be on your show. I got to have you on mine sometime, too. Don't do me any favors, please. Now, Jim has brought us a clip. What we will do is take a look at a little bit of his dreadful show and then come back here so that you can enjoy the, our next segment, which will be a live castration. Jim? <sighs>